Okay, I want to show you how to fix something that is inside of a shadow box frame. This Disney sign was inside the shadow box frame, like this, but the Y, the Disney ears, had fallen off. So this happens sometimes in shadow box frames. The glue doesn't hold as well as it should or whatever. Some of them are really easy and they have screws on the corners and it's a, a thicker piece of or a thinner piece of like a plywood, pressed wood. And all you have to do is unscrew the corners and take the bot back off. But with this one, I'll show you how it was. So this goes in like that. And then this goes over it like that. So if you have something like this, and then these little hangy hooks were right here. So, if you have something like that, you take off the hooks with the little screwdriver set. They have these little screwdrivers at the dollar store for a dollar for the set, and they are very, very handy. I use them all the time. So, take off the tiny little screws, and then peel the backing. I wanted to keep this one. Normally, if it's just uh, kind of a brown paper, I don't necessarily keep it, but this one has a description of what they are and who made it. Um, and it's kind of more of a collectible. So you, you take that back so you can use the double stick tape to put it back on. Double sided tape. And then this had glue gun glue all the way around it. You can kind of see it there. And what I used was just the little screwdriver, one of the little screwdrivers. And you can just get it in where there's a little lip. So like there's a little lip right there. You just get it in and pry it up. Um, and you have to kind of chisel it away from the edges um, on the end so that it doesn't rip the front. So like if I hadn't have chipped it away, it could have ripped this backing paper. Because the backing paper you can see will come up in some of the corners. And I, don't, I didn't want to rip that because that's very cute. Now where this came off, there was a little tear. And all I did was use a glue stick and glued that back down, let it dry for a minute. And then I used a glue gun to adhere it back. That's what they used to put it, back, put it on originally. So I used a glue stick to glue it back on, and it, is, it looks a little crooked to me, but it was glued on originally crooked, and I didn't want any of the ripping beneath to show, so I glued it on the way that it was, directly right over where those little holes are. Then you would make sure that the right side is up, and I cleaned the glass, both inside and out, and then, sorry, and then um, you can break the glue off if you want. I'm just going to put a dab every little ways <coughs> and then put it in. Um, actually, it fits in pretty tight anyway without, but I do want to adhere it in just a little bit. So I'm just going to put a little dab over on these edges, I guess, because it's snapping in pretty well. Then, <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me, you take double-sided tape and you put put it on all the way around the edges before you lay this down. And as you lay it down, you're going to want to start at one end and then flatten it like this. And you can put, you can see they had a couple strips down the middle. It's actually sticking with the tape that's on it. But you can see they put a strip down the middle here and here. So what I will probably do is put one down the middle to keep this part down as well and then these parts. But it doesn't matter because it's not going to be seen from the front or the back. So then I, once it's glued down like that, you put these back in the original holes and screw them back in. And then I wanted to show you on the on the frame, there was a white place down here where it actually started over here. It had hit the uh, the wall when it was coming down or falling or whatever, and it had a white streak right across here to here. And you can kind of see there's a few little white flecks, um, scrapes. But what I used was totally awesome cleaner and then a fingernail, and it took the paint that was left from the wall stuck to it off and then um, I take a black sharpie and I'll show you on this corner so you can kind of see but I take a black sharpie and I fill in where there's white and then I just rub it in with my fingers so that there's no shiny because black sharpie goes on shiny and um, I show more of this on my video the secret is gratitude.com and you can go to the search en engine at the bottom of the home page and type in sharpie and black and up will come me doing this. I've done it on all sorts of books and furniture and things but it takes away the the white chips very well and you, I, this is going to be covered but I'll just show you how well it does it here. So you know you just do this and then you just smear it like that and <laughs> it blackens it right up. And um, I've used this method for years and it's been awesome. 
So basically that's how you fix um, anything inside of a shadow box. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to write me um, on my blog or on my YouTube channel and or ask questions in the comment section. Thank you for watching. The secret is gratitude.